This is KMTV 3 News Now. Hi, I'm Craig DeGrelli. Here's what's happening. Police arrested a man after a crazy sequence of events on Monday night that started at the High V at 78th and Cass. An off-duty police officer working security confronted a guy in a pickup truck who was helping himself to a bunch of pallets behind the store. The man took off, dragging the officer. Omaha police put up the helicopter. They located the guy and the truck at 84th and Center, where they arrested him. A third man is going to federal prison for an armed bank robbery in Fremont that turned into a high-speed chase into West Omaha. Warren Vassar will serve 11 years for his role in the November 2017 holdup at the First State Bank. Cops caught Vassar, Angelo Douglas, and Warren Copeland at the Best Buy at Village Point. They discovered $85,000 at the scene. Copeland and Davis are already serving prison time. And on 3 News Now, weather alert meteorologist Jennifer Seppin with this latest weather update. We're going to see a few more clouds developing, not only in the morning, but mainly afternoon and evening. We have another weak front passing through, more of a wind shift. Most of the day, we'll see those winds out of the south-southwest about 5 miles an hour, which will help to warm us up to about 38 for the afternoon high, so above freezing and actually above average. Again, even with the cloud cover and that front moving through, not really expecting any precipitation. This is a dry front for us. We go back to more sunshine on Wednesday with a high of 39. 36 on Thursday with breezy conditions. Another cold front moving in brings in more cloud cover. If we do see any snow developing over extreme southeastern Nebraska, southwestern Iowa early in the day, and then as we head into the weekend, the warmest temperatures we've experienced so far this month, 42 Saturday and Sunday, 40 degrees. So if you still have holiday shopping to do, looks like this weekend will be a fantastic one for it.